So, it's Samantha. I'm with Black Elephant Media, and I'm going to be doing um, our new van's wiring. Um, Carlos isn't going to be here today. He's off doing something else, and it's a nice day. It's a really cold day, but I decided since the sun is out, let's get some work done. Um, Maddox and Lucy will be joining me, so they'll be my little helpers for today, and stay tuned. This time we decided to use 12 gauge indoor wire that is usually used in homes. We picked it because it's all packaged in one strand with the positive, negative, and ground wires together. Last time we had to run separate wires for every connection, so this makes it much easier since we're running about 17 different lines of power here. Hey guys, so I'm still wiring, but it got so, so cold. So I had to move the van, get my heater, my portable heater, connect it, and kind of rearrange stuff. And then I'm gonna go back and do that. Dogs are inside, cause they were waiting at the door cause it was so cold, so. Oh! One thing we recommend before running the electrical lines is to make sure you label all of them. We ran about 17 lines in our van and have them labeled is going to make it much easier when I'm connecting the lines to the actual plugs. wire our van continue what we didn't finish yesterday it got super cold and there was no light and my heater was not really the most efficient um, so we got most of it done yesterday but we're gonna finish off today with um, some stuff that we forgot like the water pump and the lights for the garage um, and just the garage. garage lights um, and I have a special guest So we're pretty much done with running all of the electrical lines in the van. The next thing we're working on is going to be to remove the divider wall that came pre-installed in our van. One of the main reasons we're getting rid of it is so we can have full access to walk from front to back and we're also getting rotating bases for our driver and passenger seat which will give us extra space and another spot to hang out at. So our girl Lucy, she loves helping out. The divider wall was actually going to be a much easier job than we thought. We had to remove about 14 bolts in all and we really only had issues with two of them. Um, the two sides, we had to actually cut those off. Other than that, the job was pretty easy if you had the right tools. But yeah, uh, this is how we finish off our day. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.